right, so here he is. They call him T City, short for Triangle City, the Gracie Jiu Jitsu black belt, Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega is a great fighter, a guy that has all the ability inside the octagon. He started as a jiu-jitsu practitioner, but you have seen the evolution of Brian Ortega as his career has continued to go on, has continued to proceed. Brian Ortega is getting better and better and better. He has now found himself staring across the octagon of some of the best fighters the division has ever seen, and he will continue to do that as long as he keeps developing the skills that are necessary. And sometimes it's hard to become a champion without having tasted defeat. A lot of people believe the Max Holloway fight for Ortega will be something he can build upon moving forward. history. We'll see if he can follow it up with another win here tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. All right, good to have you with us tonight as we get your early round action here featuring one Brian T-City Ortega. Might just be the poster boy for mixed martial arts evolution when it comes to the strides he has made with his striking. Came into the UFC somewhat of a specialist when it came to his Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Now in a kickboxing match, he can probably beat most of the best featherweights in the world. And there's that kicking game from Yair Rodriguez on full display early on in this one tonight. Yeah, Yair Rodriguez is a beast. And you know when you watch him, when you're going into the octagon with him, you got to always be on high alert because he can hit you from anywhere. And a lot of times, it comes from those kicks, those very diverse, scary, dangerous, challenging to understand kicks that he throws. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Right hook to the head block. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Uppercut. Sidekick, well done. Oh, big go. Oh, yeah, 
Vasquez closing the distance now, DC. You can just tell he's starting to gain some veteran chops now with several years on this UFC roster. Ortega's in half goal. And look at him attack in the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the fin. Right hand is there over the top. It won't take many of those. That one was clean. Great punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Just out of range with the big right hand. Throwing that low kick. Ortega gets touched with the body again here with that kick. He's got to be really careful now. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range. Feet on the hips here. Oh, high level stuff here with the ground and pound by Rodriguez. Second round, straight ahead. Hey, stop. Heading back to the corner now. Rodriguez is bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Well, round one, a tough act to follow. Here we go Ready with fight. our second round. Ready. Yair Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega. So Rodriguez continuing to manage distance beautifully tonight. He's got his kicking game on point. He's so long. So Yair uses those kicks to not only brutalize you, but to maintain space. He's a well-rounded mixed martial artist. He's really improved in the wrestling, but ultimately, the kicking game will always be what defines Yair. Oh, sidekick lands. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Ortega's in half guard. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side to drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. He's bridges. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm trying. Unbelievable. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after him. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Rodriguez gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, he's got a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? That leg kick hurt. They're going at it now. position here. All right, so how about this? Oh, huge elbow. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Tonight, by way of 
submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Brian T. City Ortega! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position.